We want to start with that horrific crash in West Texas where nine people, including six college students, died. Tonight, we are hearing from the North Texas mother of one of those students. But first, let's tell you what happened. The men's and women's golf teams from the University of the Southwest were in Midland to play last night. The university is in New Mexico, and that's where the teams were heading when a pickup truck slammed into them head on just 30 miles from the state line. WFAA's Adriana de Alba is on the scene in Andrews County where this crash happened. So Adriana, what can you tell us tonight? Well, Teresa, this is the two lane road where the golf teams were traveling in their team van. Uh, the speed limit is 75 miles per hour, but at this point, it's still not clear how fast both of those vehicles were traveling. The NTSB is investigating and they say that there will be a preliminary report in about two weeks to a month. But this happened just after eight last night. The teams were headed north when a Dodge truck drove into their lane and hit the team's van head on. The reason why is still unclear, but only two members of the golf teams on that van survived. They were airlifted to the hospital in critical condition. Now all of the golf players killed have been identified. They were between the ages of 18 to 22 years old. Their coach, 26 year old Tyler James also died. And we've also learned that two people who were in the Dodge truck lost their lives as well, including a 13 year old boy. Tonight, TxDOT and the National Transportation and Safety Board are looking at a lot of factors. They're going to be looking at, uh, you know, a we believe there was a post crash fire. We'll be looking at uh, speed, occupant protection and vehicle factors. Now, all throughout the day, we have just seen an outpouring of love and support from sports teams and really people everywhere. You know, if you've ever played on a sports team, whether it's high school or college, you know that feeling of team bonding. You know that feeling of being on a van or a bus with your teammates after a tournament or a game. It's truly special uh, and it's something a lot of people can relate to. And that's why what happened here is so tragic and so heartbreaking for so many. We're live in Andrews County. I'm Adriana de Alba.